Hi guys, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little review for you. Um, I ordered my very first ever chrome powders. Um, I've not really jumped on the bandwagon with these, um, but when I was doing my big Amazon order, um, these kind of popped out at me and I decided to just go ahead and try them. They were $2.99, uh, $2.99 a piece. I got a holographic and a silver chrome and I got their Elite 99. Um, this is the no wipe top coat. Um, it doesn't say on the bottle that it's no wipe anywhere, but it is. So I tested this out. It works really good. And now we're going to play with these and see how they work. Um, so bear with me guys. I've never used chrome powders before, but I've watched a million YouTube videos about them. So hopefully I can make this work. <laughs> I will put the link in the description box from where I purchased these and also the top coat and I just went ahead and grabbed a couple old junky pop sticks here they're a little lumpy and bumpy they've been used before but I just painted over them with a white and a black gel polish and now I'm going to top coat them with the no white top coat and try out the chrome and the holographic powder so I did a white one as well because I just wanted to see what it would look like over white and then I think I might take one of these little guys here this like mauvey pink color and see what it looks like over that as well um, so I'm going to top coat these cure them and open up the chrome powders and be right back so these look identical to the ones that you would get from born pretty store however there are no um, labels on it. There's no branding. And they're teeny tiny little pots. Very fine powder. This is the holographic one. You can kind of see the little well, you can't really see it through the camera, but I can see it. Um, the uh, rainbow effect on that. Let's open up this one. That one looks like it has even less in it. They're supposed to be one gram pots. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a huge difference in the amount that I got for the chrome and the hollow. There's way more in the hollow pot than there is the chrome. Um, they seem to be uh, pretty close in consistency um, as far as the fineness of the powder so yeah I think they gypped me a little here or they gave me a little extra here one of the two but they were both the same price they were both $2.99 so alright All right, so hopefully my camera stays in focus let's give this a little try Very, very fine powder. Hope it doesn't get all over my camera lens. And you can see every little bump and imperfection in the gel. With this, it's a super mirror foam. I really like it. That worked really, really well. I'm very pleased with the result. 
versus price because I've seen these chrome powders go upwards of like $40 for just a couple grams, which is so crazy. Um, it's a tiny bit grainy, but the shine on that is insane, and you can see the reflection of my nail on it. Look at that reflection. That's so cool. I really like it. Okay, I'm going to top coat it. You see how that works? Let me grab a makeup sponge real quick. I want to make sure I get any little particles off of it first. I want to contaminate my top coat. And cure. Okay. There we go. And it is really, really nice. It's not very grainy at all. Um, gosh, in person it's so pretty. It's hard to capture that on camera. Very, very mirror finish. Top coat worked very well. And now let's try the hollow. This one doesn't feel the same. That's not sticking at all. <laughs> it's not performing the same as the chrome did. Hmm. Okay, so let me try something real quick. heard some people say before that um, the heat of the lamp helps the powder stick to the nail. So that is what I'm doing right now. I just put another top coat on to see if I could get it to stick. And it's still not sticking, guys. What am I doing wrong? The chrome worked fine. Hmm. Maybe this one needs... I don't know. An inhibition layer? I don't think so. Why is that one not sticking? <laughs> not sticking at all. Sorry, it's out of focus. Okay, so... I did the exact same thing with this one as I did the chrome. The chrome one worked fine. This one isn't working. Let me turn this camera off and fiddle with this a minute and see what I'm doing wrong. And I will be right back. My Madame Glam top coat and that did not work. So now I put a sticky base coat on and I'm just going to dry wipe it. See what that does. So it takes off the real sticky stuff but it leaves behind that rubbery tacky feel. Alright, let's try this. Okay, it's starting to stick now. only sticking in patches though. What is going on? Oh, it's not the look I wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here's your hollow cow chrome print. I have no idea. Alright, so Looks like I'm getting on the tube and researching some holographic chrome and seeing some tutorials and 
what I'm doing wrong. I'm obviously doing something wrong because it's not working. So I'm going to close this up before I spill it and go look at some videos and find out what the heck to do. All right, guys, if I figure this out, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I went and watched some videos and I have literally tried everything. Um, I saw a lot of people say that the silicone tool worked the very best for them. So I grabbed my silicone tools out and no, it didn't work. Um, this one here I got to work over a um, sticky layer. I put a, a Madame Glam base coat down, cured it, patted it straight into the sticky layer and just rubbed it smooth and then top coated it. And that's not really the laser hollow effect that it's supposed to give. And then this one here is just the tacky layer of the gel itself. Um, I just put the black gel on, cured it, and then put it into the tacky layer of the gel. It, you know, went on in a lot of places but left some patchy spots. I rubbed and rubbed and rubbed and it just, it wouldn't cover the spot at all. So, yeah. Um, and then I top coated that and then I tried to rub it in some more and it still won't cover that spot. So, this one I do think looks a little bit more holographic. Then this one um, but still not the effect that I believe it's supposed to give off at all so you can see this one's just a little bit better it's yeah I don't know I used my finger I used the silicone tool I used the eyeshadow I tried the inhibition layer I tried a non-white top coat. I actually tried two non-white top coats. I tried the Madame Glam, which is more of a rubbery top coat, and the Elite 99 no white top coat. Neither of those would work. Um, uh, yeah, so I don't know what I haven't tried yet, guys. So if you have any suggestions at all, I would be happy to try them and see if I can get it to work. But the chrome works beautifully. Um, and you can feel a huge difference when you go rubbing it on. Uh, this is just straight onto the top coat and it just goes on so beautifully. This is over black, this is over a pink color, and it's stunning. Super mirror finish, absolutely beautiful. I love how this chrome looks. So I'll definitely be using that in the near future. Um, but I really, really want to get this hollow powder to work. I really do, guys, so help me. Um, if you know any other suggestions that I haven't tried, um, like I said, I've done just like about everything, and this is the best I can get it. So I don't know what I haven't tried. I even tried um, wiping, dry wiping the inhibition layer. I've tried um, completely removing it with rubbing alcohol. I did both of those. Neither of those work. I think I've tried everything, guys. What haven't I tried? I don't know. <laughs> Um, but I guess if I want to use it, the best way is just right into the tacky layer of the gel, tacky layer of the gel polish itself, and then hope for no gaps. But this one left a huge patch there, so I don't know. All right, guys. So that is it for this video. Um, chrome powder, yes, highly recommend it. Easy for first-time users. Um, I got it right away. Um, the hollow powder, uh, maybe not for people who are inexperienced with these pigment powders, or these chrome powders I mean, because um, I couldn't really get it to work. So yeah, I will keep working with it guys and I will be happy to take any suggestions that you have and try them out and see if I can get them to work. So thank you guys so much for watching my pain. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will see you later. Bye.